again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 30th of January, 2019. I posted a video a few days ago, and I talked about the murder of Carly Bowden. She was a nurse at a hospital in Wisconsin. And I had speculated that the murderer was either a border jumper or a motorcycle. And the reason I speculate that it might have been a Muslim is because Wisconsin has an awful lot of Muslims. Well, you know, they say it's wrong to stereotype, but hey. I went ahead and I just found an article posted on People. Title, Dying Wisconsin Nurse Found Frozen to Ground Was Allegedly Targeted by Former Parking Valet. You'll see a picture of Kenneth Freeman and a photograph of Carly Bowden when she was alive. What do you think Kenneth Freeman looks like, huh? A slain nurse practitioner who was found clinging to life last week in the parking garage of a Wisconsin hospital was deliberately targeted and purely murdered by the suspect, police allege. Kenneth Freeman, 27, has been in custody since Friday morning in connection with the death that same day of Carly Bowden, 33, according to a criminal complaint obtained by People. Up until his firing a few months ago, Freeman had worked as a parking valet at Frodert Hospital in Wasatosa, a Milwaukee suburb, where Bowden had previously worked and which shares a parking structure with Bowden's employer at the time of her death. Early last Friday, a snowplow operator discovered Bowden barely alive, tucked under a car. The unresponsive woman had been brutally beaten and was found frozen to the ground, bleeding from the head. The criminal complaint filed Tuesday by the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office cites video surveillance footage and alleges Freeman hid behind a concrete pillar in the parking garage, waiting for Bowden. According to the complaint, Freeman approached Bowden moments after she exited the parking deck's elevator at 1 a.m. Subsequently, the two exchanged words before Bowden continued to her car, but Freeman allegedly grabbed her from behind and threw her to the ground before kicking and stomping on her neck, according to the complaint. Freeman then allegedly dragged Bowden into a car and drove her to the place where she was found before fleeing, the complaint states. Bowden had a weak pulse after she was found and died soon after, police said. An autopsy has since revealed she died from blunt force trauma to the head and neck with indications of manual strangulation. The complaint alleges Freeman called 911 Friday morning saying he had been involved in a deadly incident at the Friedrich parking garage. Moments later, when he was arrested, police allegedly found Freeman wearing the same jacket he was seen wearing in the security footage, and he was also in possession of Bowden's purse. The complaint alleges he later told authorities he deliberately and purely murdered Bowden, but he referred to her as Ms. Willa. Investigators did not explain the apparent misidentification in the complaint. Freeman faces a single first-degree intentional homicide charge, but has yet to go before a judge to enter a plea. People was unable to determine if he was or has retained legal counsel. The hospital and the medical college in Wisconsin, which is affiliated with the adjacent to Friedrich and shares a common parking garage, issued a statement to local news outlets confirming Freeman had worked there through a professional parking provider. The hospital contracted her for valet service between January and October of last year. The news station reports Bolden was an employee at the Medical College of Wisconsin since 2014 and at the Freeport Hospital from 2007 to 2014. The parking service provider has confirmed that the suspect cleared the background check and that he was terminated for a non-violent infraction, the statement reads. We remain vigilant about the emotional and physical safety of every person who works or studies at, is cared for, 
or visits to campus, clinics, and hospitals as Sigma continues. Safety is our top priority. We have made security enhancements and we will continue to make improvements. Bowden's husband, Nick Bowden, spoke to Fox 6, calling his wife an award-winning nurse who was incredibly nurturing. He added, our family is suffering and it's a tragedy. She loved to sing opera. She spent months in Italy singing opera. She just loved to sing. Friedert Hospital officials issued a statement to Fox 6 saying, her presence was felt by all who knew her, providing both warmth and strength to patients as well as mentorship to new advanced practice providers and nurses. What a wasted life, huh? I mean, come on. She had so much to offer and she was brutally murdered by this Kenneth Freeman. I'll see if I can find out if he, in fact, is a Mojan. Not that it matters. But they have a certain disdain for women, don't they? I'll attach the clip, pass it along to like-minded friends. The good news is that there's no longer a killer stalking Milwaukee. Thanks for listening.